believe I did that. Like, their food is going to be ice cold. It's not even my fault. Oh, my God. Good morning. You wouldn't guess it by the looks of it right now, but apparently it's supposed to be beautiful and in the 80s today and no clouds, no rains, zero chance of precipitation. So it says it's going to stop at 745. It's 746. So I'm guessing it's already going to be stopping. I haven't been getting energy drinks for... <laughs> months and months and months now. I used to get them like every single day and I stopped doing it because in my quest of saving for a house, uh, my girlfriend and I have decided that these little extra purchases are just a complete waste of money. I used to buy them every single day, sometimes even like two times in a day. Uh, that and she, she would get energy drinks too and we stopped eating out food if you stop doing a lot of things, you can save thousands of dollars per year, and that and that's the whole goal. Today, though, I am exhausted. Uh, we the movie was good last night. Uh, it was actually surprisingly good. I do recommend it. There's trigger warnings in there if you do end up seeing it, but uh, it was very good. Uh, got a little bit of a late later start today. Normally, I like to start like bright early in the morning, like six ish. Uh, we're gonna be starting at eight. 8 o'clock in the morning, although it was raining, <laughs> I didn't want to start in the morning, and I'm exhausted. Uh, I got like five hours, if that, of sleep, and uh, couldn't really sleep, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, it, it wasn't that uh, easy to get up this morning, so that's, hence that's why we're doing the energy drink. So we're not doing a $500 in a day challenge, but I am going to be trying to make as much money as possible. And we're not just doing DoorDash. We're going to be doing DoorDash and Uber Eats. Uh, not even going to turn on Instacart or Spark unless, like, for some reason it's completely dead. Then maybe I'll, I'll open Instacart for a minute. But every single time I've opened Instacart the last uh, couple of weeks, it's just been absolute dog poop. So I don't really want to. I uh, hope your weekends are going well if you're dashing this weekend. I hope you're getting a lot of certified bangers. But what do you say? You can tell my energy is like... It's okay though. Once I'm like up and about, once I'm actually starting to dash, I think my energy will come out. I just need to wake up. Just need to wake up. What do you say? Let's go make some money. Alright, just for context, there's my starting ratings for DoorDash. We got an 80% acceptance rating. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, we also have a uh, a quest with uh, Uber Eats. I don't see a lot of these. I have seen them in the past. Uh, they tend to be always about shop and pays. So, I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna be out here for 16 hours, I don't even know how long I'll be out here for, so if I see some okay shopping pays, we're gonna go for it. It says it's gonna be an extra $20 if you complete five of the shopping pays for Uber Eats. I would love to see like really small ones. That would be perfect. So if I do like keep seeing ones for like five, $10 that are like one or two items, I'll grab them immediately. Even if it's not a great order, like. Let's say it's like one item for like, you know, five miles. I might do it just, just to get that extra 20 bucks. I'm wondering if they'll give me another quest afterwards. That's, that's the thing. That's the thing. I have no idea. But uh, yeah, those are our stats and let's, uh, let's get this quest going. Just signed into both of them. Uh, I need to get gas. Oh, no, I don't. I already have gas. My brain's not working right now. We just got an order. Let's see what it is. All right, all right. That's getting my blood pumping a little bit. We got a nice first order. Certified banger. Just by a little bit. It's not like a, a huge certified banger, but it is more than two for one on the mileage. And it's the first order. And you know your boy 
loves taking that first order for the juju. friendly toast not ideal um, she complimented me on my shirt though I already had to take off that flannel I don't know what I was thinking maybe I need to have my girlfriend start dressing me because like I just don't I'm like the worst preparer in the world as far as like preparing for the day it, it was like chilly all week so I was like oh like maybe I'll just wear some warmer clothes now it's gonna be like 85 degrees. I'm an idiot. Anyway, I uh, just picked up this uh, shopping pay from um, Uber. I know it says seven miles or whatever it was, uh, but the thing is, is like all those, like a, a lot of those miles are like what I just drove because I have to go back to Burlington and Uber Eats and DoorDash, they always include the miles it, it takes you to get to the place anyway. So Target's in Burlington, so most of, most of it is just the miles going back. So it's really not gonna be that bad. Plus it's only two uh, items. And I said I wanna get five shopping pays if I can, if they're quick. Um, Uber Eats apparently dropped the amount that you get for the shopping pay. Now it's only $15 instead of 20. I guess it was 20 yesterday. Whatever. All right, let's go over to Target. But I did learn something. So I went there. First of all, I didn't know it was a, a shop and go, not a shop and pay. So shop and goes are you go there and you pick up, you know, the pre shopped for items. So one item could be an entire tote worth of stuff. I didn't know that. I thought I was gonna shop and do one item, kind of like the, the Uber Eats order that I did. This one, so I should have never picked it up. So $8 for seven miles. It wasn't ready, right? The person didn't even see it in the, in the system. I called support and then finally they came back and they're like, oh, the reason we didn't see it is because it's not, we're not done shopping for it. It was a flash order. So a flash order, apparently the customer can pay a whole buttload more of money to get that order done fast. He looked in the system, he was like, oh, they paid a lot of money to get this order fast. Interesting, DoorDash. So they paid you a bunch of money to get the, the flash order done fast. And you paid me $4 base pay and the customer paid me $4. Where's that boatload of money going towards, DoorDash? Where's it going? Because it's not going to the drivers it, the whole thing was back roads. I waited 10 minutes for the order to be done. By the time I get back to Burlington, that entire order, 45 minutes for $8. Absolutely outrageous. Outrageous. <laughs> and I just want to say the other order, the Uber Eats order, that was definitely somebody's hangover cure. Cheese puffs and, and liquid IV. And they, they paid for that? <laughs> That's funny. Alright, back to the zone. Absolutely nuts. You know the drama is never ending. Don't let it get the best of you. And all the fake friends just keep pretending. That's how the little things get huge. Paralyzing every part. Oh, you feel it taking over you.
back to the zone. Uh, that first shop and pay for Uber. Oh my God. Disaster. Absolute disaster. They didn't have the stuff she wanted. Then I had to go bring it up to a, a whatever it is. I don't even, I don't even know sometimes if these are hotels or like places people live in. I, I don't, it looked like they live in it. Um, and then the other one I, I took, I understand it was like 14 miles, but this is kind of like in between, it was like the in between time before lunch. And I was like, ah, it's 18 bucks. Like whatever, I'll take it. Wasn't a good order, obviously, but uh, we're back in the zone and trying to get some, some lunch orders. Hopefully we get some bangers. I, I'm, I'm optimistic. Let's have that juju cook in. Let's have that juju kick in. Let's go, let's go. I'm, I'm ready, my energy's up now, baby. Let's go. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna do it. Only reason I'm gonna do it is for research purposes. It is 11.54 currently. So that will give you an idea of how long this kind of order will take. So then later on, you can make your own assessment of was it worth it or not? <laughs> I have I have no idea. I have no, I, this almost sound, this almost reminds me of like Amazon Flex or just like the mailman. Um, yeah, I didn't even see if this is, if I have to do shopping for these people or if these orders are already ready. If, if the orders are already ready, this might be worth it. If I have to shop, ooh, this could be really bad. But uh, let's find out. I've delivered nine out of the 10 packages. And in the beginning, I was almost gonna say, because there's one package that is frozen, I was gonna say, I bet DoorDash has me deliver this package last. Yep, it is absolutely the last package. Not only that, but DoorDash just gave me this as an add-on, and I haven't delivered the package yet. I have one item left and it's the frozen one <coughs> and now they want me to pick up chipotle's deliver that first and then do the frozen delivery what are you doing door dash i mean good thing i have it in the freezer bag and it, my ac has been pumping this whole time but like still what the hell man Okay, just dropped off uh, the Chipotle's in the last order. It is 138. So even including the Chipotle's order, it took me less than two hours for $58, almost $59. I'm gonna take that as a win. I I'm honestly gonna take that as a win. It was a lot of work, but I'm still in my zone. So that, that order, all those drop-offs went in a circle and then dropped me off in my zone. So I don't, it's not like I had to go 25 miles and then 25 miles back. It was 25 miles in a circle. I'm taking that as a win, baby. Let's go. Taking a break for lunch uh, while it's the slow time. I'm gonna grab some Chipotle's.
All right, just dropped off the 7-Eleven. Uh, Uber Eats is kind of like, it looks like it's gonna start running hot. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it do its thing, man. I'm not gonna stop Uber Eats if it's gonna keep giving me banger after banger. So let's keep doing it. I mean, it's three o'clock. This should technically be the slow time. So if Uber Eats wants to give me these orders during the slow time, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. So keep on dancing, baby. Dropped off the shopping pay. Oh boy. What's with people and answering doors without clothes on? That's that's all I gotta say. I mean he had pants on, it's not like he was naked, but we're talking about a 300 pound guy that's shirtless coming outside. Uh, it's mm, I don't know. Anyway, um when I did the shopping pay, something interesting happened. So, first of all, they always Shaw's always has the aisle numbers. Uh, and they're like switching the aisles around with Shaw's. Some customer was pissed. <laughs> she was like complaining to this lady that works there and the lady's like, listen, we have to deal with it too. It's, it's very difficult for us too because you know, we work here and we have to, it's, it's, it's hard on all of us. And I'm just sitting there like waiting to ask her like where the tuna is. <laughs> She's like, we need your understanding. I'm like, I understand. Can you just tell me where the tune is? <laughs> but the cool thing is, is that Uber Eats somehow knew that they were redoing the aisles and asked me what aisle the tuna was in. Why doesn't DoorDash do this? Why doesn't DoorDash do this? Why doesn't DoorDash just in the app say, hey, what aisle was this in? So then they can tell other people. What? Like, why is there ne like, why would there ever be a scenario where DoorDash doesn't have the aisles in it? They have people shopping there all the time. I mean, like, it's a, it's a no-brainer. I loved how Uber Eats just did that. Uh, the only reason I took that shopper, by the way, is because I want to get this extra $15, and now we're at uh, the third shopper of the quest. And I want to know if they're going to redo the quest. So, like, if once you finish the quest, do you get a new quest for five more? or like an upgraded quest, that would be awesome. Oh, what is this? $13, 9.8 miles, two, two items. All right, we'll do this too. Just, just for the quest. did them I, I know that they used to do them in the past but they don't do them anymore uh, I like it I think it's fun it's a little fun way to accept so-so orders and then get rewarded at the end I mean considering I did five of them if you divide 15 by five that was an extra three dollars per order that actually made it worth it for all those orders that I did extra 15 bucks in my pocket I love it uh, I'm trying to get DoorDash on so I can get more orders but I just realized I did that huge order, that was 11 deliveries. That that counts for 11 deliveries. So I'm kind of like okay at the moment for uh, deliveries with DoorDash. So I can kind of run Uber Eats for as long as I want today, honestly. And my numbers won't go down that much. So it's pretty cool. Gentlemen, we 
only took like literally all day to get it, but I'm still happy to get it. Let's go. I just dropped off uh, the Cheesecake Factory order. Uh, it was an okay order. Problem is, is that it was uh, it was really far out of the zone. And even if I wanted to, it, there's no restaurants here. Uh, so I can't get uh, an order back to the zone. So it, it was really like $21 for 22 miles. Not the best, honestly. If, if it went to one of the other surrounding towns, I could have gotten an order back. Uh, these are like the type of orders I really don't like to take, and I didn't notice where it was going. Uh, if I did, no, I, I still probably would have taken it. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I, for a second, I thought I might have might decline it, but it's like, how are you gonna decline a $21 order for 11 miles? Like, even if it took you like 45, 50 minutes, it'd still be like profitable. So, uh, anyway. Uh, we got like maybe 10 minutes back to the zone and then it's full blown dinner time, baby. I'm looking, I'm looking for those certified bangers there, DoorDash. Don't let Uber Eats take over. Don't let them. Now, oh, by the way, I gotta do, I forgot who said it. I don't know if it was Cam or somebody else. Uh, one of my subs said that they wanted me to do a challenge where you do an hour of DoorDash and uh, take the best orders and then an hour of Uber Eats take the best order and like keep doing that for like eight hours, 10 hours, whatever it may be. And in the end, see like which one is better. I love that challenge idea, um, definitely. I'm, I'm definitely gonna do that. I'm, I'll probably do that, I might do that next weekend. Might do that next weekend. It's not gonna be an accept every order challenge, but the, I like the idea of like an hour on, hour off. Hour, the, you have, I, I have to like make sure it's fair though, and each one gets an hour during like the rush hours. You know what I mean? Uh, but I love, I love that challenge idea. All right, DoorDash, Uber Eats, time to hook up your boy. It's time, it's time. Oh snap! <laughs> Uber Eats is running hot, baby. We get back to the zone and get our second solid banger. Let's go, let's go. It was at this moment he knew he f***ed up. that I'm an idiot? I just realized that I'm an idiot. I thought it said, I don't know what I thought it said. I thought it said like 26 miles for like, or $26 for like, oh my God, I don't even know. Dude, it said $26 for 31 miles. Oh my God, I am such an idiot. I can't. I swear I didn't see 31 miles. I swear I did Not to mention, why is Uber Eats sending Chipotle's from Bedford to Andover? There's probably a million Chipotle's right next to them. 
Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Oh my god, this just, oh. Obviously I take the certified banger back. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell, dude? I, I still can't believe I did that. Ugh. Man, I wish I realized before I picked up that Chipotle, I could have canceled the second order. Because you can do that. You can cancel one of the orders in a batched order. Oh my God. I can't, I can't believe I'm that stupid. Oh, I'm so stupid. Like, I almost want to end my shift after this. That's how bad this is. Just dropped off the Chipotle's order. Literally in the middle of nowhere. And apparently, the in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by like multi-million dollar houses everywhere. There's not a business anywhere near here. Like, like I was driving for like 15 miles without seeing anything. <gasps> I, I cannot believe I did that. Like, their food is going to be ice cold. It's not even my fault. Oh, my God. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start driving back. There's a chance that was the last delivery. We'll see. If it is, I'll do my, my wrap-up at the end of this video. But we'll see. I mean, by the time I get back, it's going to be like 8. 30 or 8.15, it's like 7.40 right now. I have like 35 more minutes to drive back. Oh, I'm such an idiot, idiot.